The bitching about YouTube video is a genre of its own. For the last few years now, people have posted hours worth of videos complaining about demonetization, deplatforming, delisting, being denied the opportunity to get their videos into sections of YouTube where they would reach more people. Basically, constantly getting the big D from YouTube. Creators threaten to leave YouTube constantly. Their audiences claim they'll follow them. But all you gotta do is look at Logan Paul to see how well that works out. No, I'm not literally asking you to go watch his videos. I don't hate my own audience that much. But after the whole suicide forced fiasco, YouTube dropped him from their preferred ad program. So he flirted with the idea of going to Twitch. Well, guess how well that worked out. On YouTube, he has over 18 million subscribers. Presumably 18 million individuals who hit a button that said, Yes, I want to see more of this guy. I really like his work. But over 17 million of those clearly didn't like him enough to type in a different URL to go fucking watch him. As he ended up with only 826,000 followers on Twitch and less than 4 million total live views. When he can just put his no effort clickbait title videos up and get 3 million views a video, why would he piss around with anything else? Clearly, the audience isn't there on Twitch. So he crawled back to YouTube, the don't forget you're here forever plaque in hand, everyone forgot he's a complete fucking scumbag or don't care, and life goes on. And if one of the most popular YouTubers with one of the most toxically loyal fan bases ever can't make it work, what hope does anyone else have? But everyone claims there's gotta be a better solution than shitty old YouTube, right? Well, here comes Vimeo. Spending over $10 million to let everyone know, uh, hey guys, you ever heard of us? We're Vimeo. We've existed for, like, over a decade. You could maybe use us, you know? They're trying to be aggressive by advertising on YouTube itself, which makes sense. Like DC showing their trailers before much more popular Marvel movies. So, you're Vimeo. You know YouTube users are angry. Viewers are angry. How do you convert them? Why, by telling everyone that you don't have ads. Among Vimeo's messaging are these ones. Don't let ads get in the way. And, this is an ad before your video. Vimeo doesn't have these. <laughs> yeah, you know what's gonna bring creators to you? Telling them they won't make any fucking money. How deaf to the issues can a company be? YouTubers want to make money via ads, and YouTube audiences want the cheapest and easiest way to support their favorites. I know this because my buy my stuff model ended up with a tiny fraction of my subscribers ever buying shit, and I got so many messages and comments over the years from people going, just put ads on your videos already, instead of trying to sell us shit. That way you'll make money so you can quit your job and spend all your time making us musical autopsies. And who knows, at my peak, maybe I would have made a whole shitload of money. But I'm a stubborn asshole who wanted to do things my way. And here we are. But who the fuck is gonna leave YouTube for this? Vimeo claims this isn't their goal. But that's just protecting their feelings. Like saying, Oh, I didn't really want to go out with that hot chick that rejected me. I was just joking around when I asked her to go see a movie with me. But then they're at home cry-jerking it to her Instagram photos. No one spends $10 million, some of that going toward YouTube ads, and doesn't hope to grab some of their creators and audience. But this is the wrong way to do it. Oh, and by the way, when you go to Vimeo and post your videos with no ads, you pretty much also have to fucking pay to post them. Vimeo's free tier lets you upload 500 megs worth of videos a week. Not very much. And if you want to be able to post more, it costs anywhere from $7 a month to $75 a month if you want to live stream. $75 a month. Oh, but don't worry, you'll recoup that really quickly with all that ad rev... Uh, fuck, right. The things people really hate about YouTube are the fact that YouTube doesn't pay out as much as they used to for ads, that they puss out whenever it comes to fair use and they just fucking gargle the goddamn balls of all these fucking labels and shit, there are complaints that people are unsubscribed from channels without ever asking to be, and creators are pissed that subscribers aren't properly alerted when a new video comes out. Address these concerns. Save some of those millions, and say you'll fight record labels and film companies if they try and take down a review video. Now, I know Vimeo would puss out too, but claim you'll stand your ground. Let creators know that you'll send their followers alerts when videos come out. 
Tell them you'll fucking spam their followers if you have to. Line up partners that will pay subscribers directly for sponsored content. Those are the way to get people to leave YouTube. Would you walk into a McDonald's and go, Oh man, are you guys sick of all those delicious hamburgers with all that cheese and fat and bacon? <laughs> well, have I got some great salads for you. No, you wouldn't, because it'd be a waste of your fucking time. You certainly wouldn't pay $10 million for that kind of marketing campaign. And if you're targeting viewers instead of creators, you're offering an ad-free experience on... what? All of that nothing you have? Oh good, I can watch their third most popular video. This 9-year-old 4-3 low-res fucking video of eggs, ad-free. Goodbye, YouTube. Fuck you, HBO Go. Don't even bother to launch, Disney+. Plus. Tell Netflix to shove their subscriptions up their sloppy snatches, everyone. The fucking egg video is here.